what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on another character from the mahabharat and the lessons that this character is trying to teach us he is one of my personal favorites of course like many others and his name is bhima 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 yes 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 as in sanskrit it's known as bhim yes so today we will discuss the greatness of this personality and how he exemplifies humility and oh my goodness bhima and humility <laughs> yes 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 he also exemplifies humility and he also exemplifies so many qualities like sacrifice and being able to do things irrespective of which post position or level you are holding in the society yes so we will discuss about that so bhima's importance is no less than yudhishthir or arjun because he was also instrumental and pivotal in fighting the kurukshetra war and he was the one who slaughtered all the 100 kurus including dushasan and duryodhan so he is a very 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 important character in the mahabharat all right so today we shall discuss about this great personality vrikodara there you go if you are new to the channel and you have still not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you have any questions or queries on the videos which vik dikara ji has uh, on the video which he has uh, which i have uploaded then uh, please write it in the comments i will request him that if he has time he can also answer them all right and uh, the other guests are also coming i mean i have already taken the interviews and also i have given one interview so i'll be uploading them very soon by this week or some other interviews the next week all right so be patient till then okay and before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him <laughs> okay now who is bhima bhima is the second of the pandavas he is younger to yudhishthira maharaj he is just after yudhishthira maharaj and he is the son of pandu and kunti and he is begotten through the niyoga of pavan dev yes and kunti kunti was bestowed with a mantra by durasa rishi by which she could invoke the power of any demigod any devata yes and then they would come and give her a child so he like his father wind pavan yes he is extremely powerful he is like the most powerful man on earth his strength is immeasurable yes there's no limit to his strength because he is just like hanuman ji because hanuman ji and bhima are brothers because they have the same father yes vayu hanuman ji from ramayan those who know him yes <laughs> i guess everybody watching this video knows who hanuman ji is now bhima he also exemplifies the quality of humility you may ask oh but he is very angry and he is very uh, ferocious most of the times yes that is true but his expression of humility is in a different way yes his expression of humility is not in a uh, behaving in a meek way or physically being very timid that's not the way he exemplifies humility but he exemplifies humility by following the instructions of yudhishthira maharaj and lord krishna irrespective of any circumstance which is there yes because for uh, anybody who is very strong it is very difficult to listen to somebody yes should i repeat <laughs> anybody who is very strong it is very difficult for him or her to listen to somebody yes it is very difficult yes because that person thinks i can do everything myself i can take charge i can take command i don't need to listen to this person go to hell do whatever you want but bhima although he could have done it but he never did so whenever yudhishthira maharaj his eldest brother elder brother would say anything he would sit down <laughs> so it requires a lot of power and inner strength to do that yes especially when the pandavas had been uh, exiled to the forest and then um, for 12 years they were staying like uh, mendicants yes like poppers actually without having anything materially i mean then bhima always was very angry he always wanted to take revenge on the pandavas uh, on the kurus i mean and go and kill duryodhana and uh, also take revenge for draupadi's insult especially from dushasana but he never did it because yudhishthira maharaj said no we should follow the codes of dharma we have been 
given a sentence for 13 years we must pay it <laughs> okay so i am following and that is why you also should follow yes and then bhima also followed although he was very angry he was not happy at this but he did not revolt he did not go and protest oh my dear great elder brother i don't listen to you go to hell do whatever you want i don't want you here he didn't say like that although he wanted to do like that and he could have also done it yes and nobody could have stopped him if he wanted to go on waging war against the kurus alone so that's what he exemplifies here and the another thing which which he exemplifies is uh, many times people uh, have this conception that to give some important contribution you must have some post and position yes well bima is the one person who uh, completely rejects this idea which means bima never had any important post or any position yes any authority over anything but he was the one who uh, apart from arjun i mean um, he was the one who had inflicted the maximum damage because he had uh, taken a vow that i will kill all the 100 kauravas yes all the kurus will be slaughtered by me all sons of dhritarashtra will die at my hands and then uh, that's what he uh, did ultimately he killed all the 100 kurus and including duryodhana and dushasana and and he did not have any post like he was not the commander in chief of the army he was not the uh, he was not the king also yes so bhima shows this that if we want to do good to the society we do not have to be in a post or a position or a authority yes we can do it without that also <laughs> even arjuna exemplifies this yes because arjuna was also not the commander in chief but how to give contribution without being in a position yes contribution is more important than the position you are in yes so bhima exemplified this yes that even though you don't have any authority direct authority over anything else like drishta dimna was the commander in chief as they say pradhan senapati he was the senapati of the pandavas but he decided that i will do the maximum damage yes and then at the end all the kauravas were slaughtered and at the last also we see that bhima always focused in contributing yes because there was once when this lakshagra was there the house of lak where the pandavas were uh, supposed to be killed by that fire by using um, this uh, materials which are made of uh, very much inflammable materials yes so purochan was the one who was hired by duryodhana yes to conduct that uh, sinful that whole event of vanavrat yes but by the grace of lord krishna and mahatma vidur they were finally saved but then what happened as soon as they were uh, they evacuated that palace then they had walked long 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 distances yes and then mother kunti and nakul and said they, they felt very much they became very much tired they felt very much weak and then what happened they said oh we can't walk more we want to rest <laughs> because they got tired after walking so much and then what happened bhima said no we will not rest <laughs> and then bhima took kunti nakul and sadev over his hands and shoulders and then he started walking like that that description is there in the mahabharat he he was always like a protector for the entire family yes because he used to eat half of the food <laughs> see uh, some people may say oh bhima is uh, such a great personality you know why does he eat so much now nah, his eating should be controlled yes that is fine but uh, he is not uh, eating like other people now nah, eating and watching tv or watching football and wasting time he's not like that the moment the uh, the amount of food which he is eating he is making sure he is doing 10 times the work also okay so scriptures do not uh, criticize eating more if you uh, can do more work yes so if you are doing 10 times the work of the rest of the people in the room then you can also eat 10 times more yes that is allowed <laughs> that doesn't mean that from tomorrow we start eating and we start justifying oh i am doing so much work yes that's not correct but bhima uh, what happened is uh, when um, the kunti used to cook lunch and dinner breakfast maybe <laughs> then whatever food used to be prepared they used to divide it in half yes and then half would exclusively be given to bhima yes and bhima also ensured that 
he would shoulder half of the responsibilities of the entire family yes so any time anything would be required kunti would just say to bhima that bhima please go and get that <laughs> and he was stupendously powerful his power his strength his valor his courage is immense it is beyond beyond any limits yes and then we also see that once when the pandavas were in the uh, forest for 12 years in between that time when arjuna had gone to the heavens then draupadi had once seen a a heavenly uh, lotus blue lotus yes neel kamal as they say floating in the uh, floating uh, in the mountains through the rivers and draupadi said to bhima that oh i need that and then what happened bhima he said okay okay i'll get it for you and then bhima as soon as he went there to get that blue lotus he realized that this is not in the realm of the humans this is belonging to the higher celestial regions yes to the demigods not demigods exactly to the yakshas it was belonging and then uh, there as soon as he reached near to that place there was a warning from ahead that you are entering you are transgressing the etiquette of entering the place of the yakshas yes so humans are not allowed access to this region please go back from where you have come but then bhima was looking to draupadi and she wanted the lotus very much then bhima said do hell with the protocol <laughs> even if i am not allowed to take i'll still take it because draupadi wants it so then he went and he started fighting with the <laughs> with the yakshas and then finally <coughs> the leader of the yakshas his name was maniman so maniman came with his club and he hurled it at bhima and that club touched bhima's chest effortlessly and the club cracked <laughs> into pieces into powder but bhima nothing happened to him so maniman was amazed at this and then bhima effortlessly he killed maniman yes and maniman was kind of like the as you say the right hand of kubera he was one of his very close intimate associates so kubera appeared and he said i will punish you now but yudhishthir maharaj also appeared somehow he reached there and then yudhishthir maharaj said please forgive him he did a mistake <laughs> and uh, then kubera said okay no problem i forgive you this time so bhima's power is immeasurable he was so powerful my god and he was the one who killed dushasana yes and he took the blood of dushasana's heart and he go went and gave it to draupadi and then she uh, smeared it all over her hair and then she felt solace and relief for the insult which she had faced in the hands of dushasan and then and the last duryodhana was also killed yes even though duryodhana had that blessing from gandhari but lord krishna told him you have to hit him in the thighs yes and there also we see bhima's greatness that bhima knew that this is wrong yes you should not hit duryodhana on the thighs because it is prohibited in a mace fight in gada yudh that you should not hit below uh, the thighs because that's not allowed but just because lord krishna said he did it yes and then duryodhana was dead although balaram ji got angry yes when bhima did this and balaram ji said oh bhima i will kill you for this you have broken the rule you have broken the law you have broken the protocol and then of course lord krishna intervened and silenced balaram ji completely lord krishna said to balaram ji that oh now you have started seeing about the rules who is breaking rules yes what about when duryodhana breaks the rules then you are silent yes so bhima although he knows that there will be people in india yes saying that oh bhima did wrong no no see bhima knows that people in especially in countries like india in uh, they will criticize him oh bhima did not follow the rules yes this is, this is just a very small rule yes that you should not hit but what about duryodhana who has broken so many big big rules that nobody sees but they will only criticize oh what uh, bhima did yes so he knew that my image will be hampered <laughs> somewhere in youtube somebody will be blaspheming me yes bhima knew this very well but still for the restoration of dharma he took that poison yes he thought okay what whatever lord krishna is saying i will do it if it hampers my image let it be no problem i do not love my image more than i love the restoration of dharma yes and he time and again displays that how much ever powerful you are how much ever potent you are how much ever strong you are it doesn't matter but the most important thing is you remain humble and you give contribution and you do not 
become in uh, you don't uh, behave uh, disobediently towards your seniors especially yudhishthir maharaj so if you consider by materialistic uh, physical strength he was way 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 ahead than yudhishthir yes i mean physically he was very strong so he could have always said to yudhishthir maharaj that oh <laughs> i don't want to follow you i will have my own kingdom i want half of my uh, kingdom i want my personal share like duryodhana uh, always used to do so he also could have said this to yudhishthir maharaj but no he always knew that i may be physically very strong very powerful but yudhishthir maharaj is yudhishthir maharaj after all that is why the mahabharat exclusively coins yudhishthir as the term dharmaraj yes he was also known as ajata shatru means one who does not have any enemies so bhima although he knew that he was physically very strong but he always knew that there is something more than physical power physical strength yes and that is the power of dharma power of spirituality power of religion which yudhishthir maharaj had much much more than him probably <laughs> and he always knew this and that is why whenever yudhishthir would say anything he would come down he would sit down <laughs> and time and again he also demonstrates this when he uh, lord krishna gives him any instructions uh, instruction he will always make sure that that is executed either he likes it or he doesn't yes and so many instances where bhima protects the family you know in uh, varnavrat especially he takes the thankless task of digging the tunnel very deep and then somehow they kunti and the pandavas they will uh, they will escape it along with the person who was sent by vidura to dig the tunnel so and so many other examples we can give for bhima his son was there ghatotka yes so he was also a formidable warrior and then ghatotka also was killed in the battle yes and he did tumultuous damage my goodness the level of damage ghatotka did was no less than what arjuna had done yes and ghatotka also sacrificed his life yes and then bhima although he had this thing inside that oh ghatotka is dead but he did not let this thing come in front of the war yes so he was continuing to fight and he was fighting as diligently and he also exemplifies the quality of devotion because like all the other pandavas he was also a great devotee of lord krishna he always used to think of krishna and whatever happens he would always obey to what lord krishna says and even if he liked or sometimes he did not like <laughs> but at the end of the day he would obey what lord krishna says this is demonstrated in the uh, kurukshetra war also when ashwatthama uses the narayan astra on the pandava army yes after dronacharya is killed then lord krishna says to everybody that the narayan astra cannot be countered yes using physical means by using another weapon it cannot be countered it's not possible because it's the weapon of lord vishnu himself so everybody put your weapon down now bhima did not agree to this arjuna yudhishthir nakul sadev everybody had put their weapons down but bhima did not agree to this so bhima said no i am a chhatriya i will fight this weapon i will not surrender like this i will not behave like a coward then krishna said no you are not behaving like a coward you are just trying to tackle the situation intelligently there is a difference between being a coward and being intelligent yes because if you cannot counter a weapon it's useless to counter it right try to counter it i mean and then bhima did not agree to this bhima said i will fight so he was still trying to counter the weapon and the power of that weapon started increasing and then krishna again said my dear elder brother bhima i am again requesting you please put your weapon down you cannot fight you cannot counter this weapon using physical power it is not possible and then finally bhima understood yes what lord krishna is saying is right i should put my weapons down <laughs> so then he also surrendered he also put his weapons down and the moment he put his weapons down that's it bang on everything got cleared the narayan astra disappeared and although he did not like to do it but still because lord krishna said he did it okay so that is what bhima exemplifies he exemplifies humility surrender obedience to the seniors to word of yudhishthir maharaj and to the uh, word of the sages rishis saints yes and especially to lord krishna's word yes lord krishna's will lord krishna's desire and he was a protector of the entire family and he used to eat more and do more yes and he exemplifies the trait of giving contribution more rather than thinking of your post position or which authority or power or how much control you have over others okay 
so that is it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you have not subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website below and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments okay until next time with another character wish you good luck bye bye see you